Well, riding the rails to work has long been a way to cut carbon emissions by just getting folks out of their cars and onto mass transport. But commuter rail lines often rely on older diesel engines that are not very efficient, a lot of them handed down from freight rail companies. Well, that's beginning to change. In March, Clean Skies' Dan Goldstein looked at one commuter railroad in Maryland that's starting to go green, and he tells us where they are now. Meet the MP36. If this locomotive were a car, it would be a Prius on steroids. Built by Motive Power in Boise, Idaho, it's really two trains in one. Mark Rail of Maryland is buying 26 of them. A high efficiency diesel, putting out 3,600 horsepower, means plenty of pull. Or in this case, push. But more important, it's got an electric auxiliary power unit, meaning no wasteful idling. A big environmental no-no. That means less emissions, uh, less particulate going into the air. Just how much less? Mark says the new engines, which run on low sulfur diesel, will cut emissions of nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and particulate matter by as much as 70 percent. It will be compliant with EPA's stringent Tier 2 rules. That's particularly important as older engines like this one here in Washington Union Station have to idle all day, especially in cold weather, to keep the brakes and lights on while waiting for its next run. Idling diesels contribute to smog, but the MP36 is different. Its electric APU keeps the engine turning until it's ready for the next trip. Most of our trains uh, park underneath the parking garage here, and when the engines were running, there was a lot of smoke and, and it got all over the place. Well, these units will not have that anymore. They have small units that will run and uh, they will basically keep everything ready to go. All an engineer has to do is get in there and start the main power unit up and off they go. Now these new engines still get a Hummer like four miles to the gallon, but that's better than the engines they replaced, which got three. They still cost a pretty penny, $3 million each, but Mark says they can make up the cost with the fuel savings. We're going through the process right now, getting these units approved from 90 miles an hour to 100 miles an hour. At that time, we'll start to do some fuel efficiency testing and see exactly what our uh, improvement will be. But we're hoping it's going to be between 25 and 30 percent fuel efficient. But getting the locomotives on the rails have hit a few red signals along the way. They were supposed to be in service last year, but only started making appearance here in Washington in January because of testing delays. Nevertheless, Motive Power has orders from commuter lines in Virginia, Utah, and Illinois to add MP36 power to their fleets. Clean Skies News, I'm Dan Goldstein. Well, those Tier 2 standards are part of the EPA's National Clean Diesel Campaign that started in 2008. They're meant to cut down on emissions of nitrogen oxide and what's called particulate matter, which are blamed for many breathing problems.